everyone, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter here uh, on a day trip doing some uh, personal stuff, just driving around, and I came across this gem. Well, first and foremost, this is the Carter Family Cemetery. Uh, that's not really what drew me in. Uh, this is what drew me in. Um, Deputy Sheriff Charles E. Smith in, uh, I believe we're in Barrington, Barrington, New Hampshire. And uh, so, anyways, uh, Deputy Sheriff Charles E. Smith in 1843, he died in 1891, um, right on the spot where I'm at. He didn't die, but um, basically, I'll actually let you guys see yourself instead of looking at my face. On May 6, 1891, in Stratford County, Deputy Sheriff Charles E. Smith was shot in the hip on the spot uh, while apprehending a horse thief. The wounded deputy insisted that the thief not be lynched. Smith succumbed to his wounds on May 23rd, 1891. Basically, he did pass away because of the wounds, because they were infected. Not so much the gunshot, but the infection of the gunshot. Still, basically, this guy killed him. Um, he, so Smith was a Civil War veteran. He was also one of Barrington's, that's a town where it's selectman. He'd been a town clerk and a representative in a le uh, legislature, as well as a prominent businessman. A tribute published by the Manchester Union on May 25th, 1891, said he died in defense of the law in an attempt to do his duty. Um, so that was over here in 2009. He, unfortunately, he's not buried in the cemetery because this is the Carter family. I went in and looked, and he's not in here. And you guys can actually, if you Google Deputy Sheriff Charles E. Smith, it talks about how the guy he arrested, or the guy, I'm sorry, the guy that they were apprehending was a horse and buggy thief. Um, and they apprehended him right here, and the dude shot him, right, pretty much at this spot, is why there's a reef on it. But the guy they arrested after he passed away, he escaped jail, and there's never seen, they never saw him again. So, the, uh, the, the horse thief, the carriage thief, the murderer and thief, um, got away with it, so to speak. But, I thought it was a cool spot. I didn't do any research on it, I'm going to now. These are all scattered through New Hampshire, so, um, very cool. I mean, sad, but, so, yeah, if you're in Barrington, there's a, there's a bunch of different cemeteries. I passed a couple, there's steps, the original steps, a bunch of historic houses, a couple different bridges and stuff, and then there's a sign or two. Um, actually, it's really one of the first one I've really seen, but New Hampshire's loaded with these. I must have about 30 already on my historic New Hampshire page, so I already took my pictures, and, uh, Mr. Smith, he did not die in vain, and, uh, you know, he died in the line of duty as a police officer in the 1800s. Unfortunately, like I said, he's not buried here, but I got myself another cemetery, the Cater, C-A-T-E-R, Daniel Cater, 1895, and his wife, Sarah. Um, so that's the family cemetery, it must be an original plantation, but uh, Mr. Smith's not buried here. I'll have to find that at some point. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. That's where this video is going to go, and you're not going to see this live video anymore uh, in about a day. It's going to go right to YouTube. Um, Got to fight with the traffic. Traffic or the wind, right? Um, thank you guys for watching. Charles Smith, a hero no one knows about. Well, they know about him now. I know I do. We're on the lookout for those unknown and forgotten. There's more out there than you think. So, go be an explorer. Go check it out. Love you guys. Adam Historian Ghost Hunter out.